you know, why do we, you know, this is still a division problem because it's a fraction. Why is it just not done? Radicals in the denominator. Radicals in the denominator, yeah, right. Okay, so when we had this happen before, we decided that we could multiply by a form of 1, and that's still what we had to do. So, again, don't copy any of this first part down because this is just kind of an explanation to make you think uh, for you guys that uh, like to think. So what we got to figure out something to multiply by. It has to be a form of 1, so whatever we choose, we have to multiply a numerator and denominator by it. So give me an idea. What can we do? Huh? Can you multiply by 5? No, well, well, 5, but wouldn't you rather... Maybe you would think this, yeah. That's what you meant? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so, so far, you know, that makes sense to uh, have a guess because we have that square root of 5 down there. So, right, if you say, well, square root of 5 times square root of 5 cancels the radicals, then that's a pretty good thought. Now, you don't get a choice, though, on how you multiply. You either are multiplying correctly or you're not. And you need to remember that this is in parentheses down here. So that means you better be distributing down in the denominator. So what happens in the numerator? Huh? It just becomes a thing. No, no, no. We're multiplying. It's just two radical five. Yeah, two radical five. And then what happens in the denominator? Okay, so again, don't, don't copy this down yet. This is explanation. This is just for the thinkers in here. Okay. So what he chose uh, got it rid of the radical in the right side there, but it didn't, you know, then all of a sudden it showed up on the left term. So that kind of got us somewhere, but it didn't work because now we still have this radical in the denominator because we can't simplify that anymore. So he moved it around for us, but it didn't get rid of it. Okay, and that happened because we had to distribute. So what's another idea of what we could mu maybe multiply by? Another idea. Two. Say it again. Multiply by two. All right, let's see what happens. Right, you said multiply by. All right, so that seems like a pretty good idea. Okay, and I, I assume that you got that because you said, well, right, radical 5, when it was just radical 5, we multiplied by radical 5. So now let's just try multiplying by the same thing. Okay, so that's a pretty good, good thought. I like that. Now, again, you don't get to choose how to multiply because both of these things are in parentheses. So that means we have to do what? Okay, so let's do the numerator first. So what happens in the numerator? Okay, and then what happens in the denominator? M multiply, multiply. Nine. Okay, that would be sweet, but do make let's make sure that works. So let's let's actually work it out. So right, we did three times three, and now we have to do three times radical five. So plus what? Okay. And now we have to go to this one and go here and here. Which is okay. So what happens right here? Do they do they end up canceling? No. What if you divide it by negative since it's a positive in the denominator? Alright, so one 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 thing at a time. Okay, so why didn't these two cancel? Because they're both positive. Okay, and so it'd be awesome if one of them is negative, because then they would cancel. So really, you know, she was got really close because both the ends now don't have a radical. But then also we because we have to FOIL, we created this middle term. So that you know both these two are correct. 
So we're really close. So instead of 3 plus radical 5, what should it be? All right, so right, and then everything that stays the same, but now we have this plus minus in the middle. So let's see what happens. Now you should write this down. That was a good job. Okay, now still remember these are in parentheses. So the only reason this works is because one of the signs change, okay? So if you put a negative out front, then you actually change both the signs, and then they won't cancel. You'll have the same problem as what we just did, okay? If you wanted to say, well, how about negative 3 plus radical 5, great. But this one is the way you usually see it. So don't change any sign except for that middle one needs to change, okay? And those are called conjugates. And they'll work, but we're going to write it out right now. We still have to distribute and we still have to FOIL. So what happens in the numerator right now? What is it? 6 minus radical 5. 2 radical 5. All right, because we've got to distribute the 2 to both of them. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative radical 5. You've got to multiply the outside numbers and the inside numbers, right? Well, because we've got to distribute this 2. Right, it's 2 times 1, really. Is that okay? Okay, so now we're foiling the bottom. So 3 times 3. 3 times negative radical 5. Now radical 5 times 3. And radical 5 times negative radical 5. Negative square root of 25, which is really negative... Okay, so now we have this negative 3 plus 3, and those cancel, and now we don't have a radical, and there you go. That's what conjugate is. Okay, so the numerator doesn't change in this problem right now. You know, these two end up canceling. What's 9 minus 5? Okay, if I said this isn't quite done, but we did what we needed to do, we got rid of that radical in the denominator. What, what else can we do? There's one more step that we can do here. Don't do that. Those aren't like terms because that radical 5. Um, yeah, how can we simplify it like a fraction? Okay, so all three of these, right, all of these can be divisible by 2. And it only works because all three of them can. Okay, if just two of them can't, you can't go anywhere. But since all three can be divisible by 2, we're going to do that. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, minus 2 radical 5 divided by 2 is just radical 5 over 2. Is that okay? Okay, so we're, we're multiplying by a version of 1, so it has to be the same in the numerator and denominator. All you're doing is changing the middle sign of the denominator. Okay, you don't have to think very hard on this. So the conjugate is going to be 6 plus radical 3. And that'll do it. No matter what is in that denominator, right, if there's a radical down there that you need to deal with and you got more than one term, then you just change the sign of the middle term and FOIL. Okay, even if both of these terms had a radical in it, it's going to work. But we are foiling, so what happens in the numerator? We've got to foil all of this. All right, so 2 times 6 is what? 2 times radical 3?
Alright, is there any questions on where any of that came from? Multiply outside numbers and inside numbers. Don't do, you know, don't get them together. Okay, and I'm going to write these out. But the whole point is that you chose the conjugate, so it's going to cancel those middle values. Okay, so you can keep that in mind, but just watch your signs. It's easy to forget about that second sign. Six times six. Six times uh, radical three. Negative radical 3 times 6. And negative 3 times th radical 3. Okay, so minus radical 9, which is... Yeah, minus 3. Uh, let's start with the numerator. What can we do in the numerator? Are those like terms, though? Because it's not really 12 and 15, is it? So can we do anything in the numerator? No. Nah. Yeah, I mean, we could try to do something. The only thing we could try to do is see if we could simplify square root of 15, but we can't because that's just 3 times 5. We don't have any groups, okay? So this is a kind, of, kind of weird, but nothing happens. You know, there's nothing you can absolutely do. So we just leave that alone. Okay, and the whole point was that this happened right here. We have a plus 6 radical 3 minus 6 radical 3. They're gone. Okay, that was the whole idea. If that didn't happen, then something's gone wrong. So really, it's just 36 minus 3, which is, okay, and, you know, you should check. Can you divide it like we did on that one? Can every single term be divided by 3? No. No. Okay, so then that's it. You can't do it. I mean, well, that's as far as you can go. I mean, 